How is everyone doing today? First day of the conference, lots of people. Hope you're learning a bunch. Um, so let me introduce myself. My name is Juliette Chevalier. I am a developer advocate for Aragon. And today I will be speaking about how we've been thinking of rebuilding the foundations for DAOs as we move forward into this next wave. Now, like many projects in the ecosystem, Aragon came around out of a necessity to address a growing, a growing amount of global changes that we're seeing in the world today when we have a failure of governance, current governance infrastructure to address these. And of course, after we came to be in 2017, these global challenges have only grown in magnitude, in complexity, in quantity, and so the promise of DAOs really stems from our ability to align incentives and provide different ways to experiment with decision making that allow us to reach the solutions that the world needs. However, at the same time that these challenges have been growing in complexity, we have also seen an exponential growth and acceleration of technological innovation that have made it incredibly hard for humans to adapt to the technologies that are providing the solutions to address these global challenges. As individuals, there is really only so much we can do to adapt to these new technologies and to really understand and learn how we can use them for better. We can only do so much to solve these great social issues. And so it really comes down to collaboration, to coordination, to organizations, to be able to come up and make the best decision making that we can to address. And so the bottom line is that we ultimately just have to build together. But it's not enough to build together. We need to build smarter together. We need to build faster together. We ultimately just need to build better together. Easier said than done, right? And so in order to address how do we actually build better together, we've been taking a bit of a trip down memory lane to understand how we can do this. Now, if we look back to 2014, we'll be able to see you know, the first article that came around from Vitalik, coining the term of decentralized autonomous organizations, swiftly transcending into decentralized currencies, and the, high, the rise and demise of the DAO as we saw the fork of Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Now from then on, Ar Aragon Rose is the first DAO framework to try to provide a way to concretely create more or on-chain organizations easier. And from then on, a bunch of great DAO frameworks came around. We saw Moloch implementing the rage quit functionality. We saw Compound bringing around more governance mechanisms. And within the span of a few years, we started seeing a bunch of protocols DAOifying. And from then on, the media grew in interest. The investors started putting in their funds. Talent started migrating into the industry. We started seeing scaling solutions go off chain, different ways of fundraising. And ultimately, as we are in this bear market, we ask ourselves the question, what next? How do we build this next DAO wave? Now, even though it's been a short span of time, we have seen a lot get done, but it is ultimately clear that it has been a roller coaster and that there is still a lot more that can be done in order to crack the DAO code. If we look at the foundations at which DAOs are born today, we see an ecosystem that is hard to navigate with hard to use UI, built on top of complex technology with a lack of diversity, a lot of speculation, a complex technology, a regulation uncertainty. And so these organizations from all sizes, colors and shapes are being bred on this rocky terrain. And so as we build the next era of the Aragon, of the Aragon project, we've been taking a step back to rebuild on for our foundations and really learn from the lessons that our history are, have provided. So today, my dear friends at ETH Denver, I am honored to announce the beginning of the new Aragon project. We are officially launching out in the public two products. Thank you very much. Two products, one protocol, one app, but one integrated stack to enable everyone to experiment with governance at the speed of software. Now, 
The first lesson that really bred a lot of our decision making was complexity. I cannot tell you the amount of times that the word complex came up in our user research. Not only is the ecosystem complex to navigate, but really building DAOs is still highly complex, and ultimately using our product was also complex. When we first launched the Aragon stack, we built a software that was safe, that was robust, that had a lot of functionality embedded into it, and that ultimately was a bit advanced of its time. Really, the users and the builders there didn't need most of the functionality that we were providing. And so we came into a scenario where uh, DAOs were being launched, but they were struggling to change as their organizations evolved. Only a handful of talented engineers can come in and fork our code and experiment. And this was at a time when we needed experimentation the most. And so with our new protocol, we've really taken a step back. And rather than embedding functionality into what we're building, we've embedded adaptability. Because we realized that organizations change. Organizations are a group of people. And so how can we build mutable organizations on top of an immutable blockchain? This is the challenge that we've been seeing. And we realized that in order to build that extensibility into our stack, we needed to have plugins at the center of everything. Plugins are smart contracts, which extend the logic and the functionality of what DAOs can do. Our protocol itself is extremely lean. Our ar architecture is small. And the idea is that every functionality that DAOs can do is actually enabled through these plugins that organizations can install, uninstall, upgrade as organizations mature. Now, our second big lesson has been user experience. I think anyone who's interacted with uh, DAOs in general has probably experienced some type of pain uh, through, through the user experience. And ultimately, this is something that cannot be mentioned enough. And we've heard this feedback over and over throughout our, our user research. Ultimately, until everyone and their grandmas are able to play with tools on chain, we won't be able to experiment to not at a speed to reach the innovative solutions that the world needs. And so this was already a key component when we built our first stack. We wanted to ensure people could go in and quickly spawn up DAOs with the least amount of barriers if possible. And yet, the learning curve was still too steep. Through providing a strong user experience, we really ended up building a product that was still opinionated and monolithic to an ever-evolving uh, industry. And so with their new app, again, we've taken a step back. Rather than embedding um, so much functionality into the application as we launch, we want to ensure that we're laying down the foundations that enable the home base for DAO builders and DAO members. Currently, the DAO ecosystem is still highly fragmented. We see organizations using a different tool for uh, payment processing and than they do for voting, than they do for handling their community. And ultimately, not only is this hard for builders, it's also hard for members who have to learn each new tool as the organization evolves. And so the idea with the Aragon app is not that we're creating a bunch of functionality to add into it, but rather that we can connect DAOs with the rest of the ecosystem and the rest of the amazing projects that all of you are building. Now, the third uh, lesson that I want to share with you today is inclusivity. This is key because as the crypto industry came about, most of the content was still tailored to engineers, particularly even Solidity engineers. And so we realized that in order for our stack to be adept to the different cultures and the different languages and the different needs that people around the world had, we needed to provide the functionality to build bespoke user experiences. And so we're open sourcing our SDK. The, SD the Aragon SDK is merely a gateway into the protocol's functionalities. It is a JavaScript agnostic uh, software development kit which enables users to perform the actions that most DAOs want. So we can create DAOs, change the DAO settings, manage members, track our financial assets, create proposals, vote proposals, execute actions. But ultimately, 
We can create the best spoke user experiences that people in Japan need, that people in Panama need, that people across their different backgrounds and skill sets need in order to play with this on-chain experimentation of governance. But because not everyone wants to build a DAP from scratch, which can still be highly complex, we're also providing an open design system, which enables engineers to tap into UI components without having to create everything from scratch, if they want. And these are the two big tools that are fueling our app. The idea of our app is that it feels like a very human-centered design, embedding education within the application so that people understand what the best practices are and are able to make the best decisions for themselves. And so it's been through this process of user research and experimentation that we've come to really rebuild the foundations that Aragon was built upon. And the hard thing about this is that we can only achieve the solutions that we need through building together. If you guys are in this room today, it means you're innovators, you're pioneers, you're working at the bleeding edge of technology. And so only through working together and building these plugins, building these connections, connecting all of our projects together, will we be able to really uh, achieve the experimentation needed and the decision making to make the solutions that we need. Because ultimately, the main mission that we're trying to achieve today is enabling everyone to experiment with governance at the speed of software so that we can get the decision making and the solutions that the challenges that we face today deserve. Thank you.